Hey, this is Brian. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Today, we're going to show you how to install an incredible looking and sounding front mount intake on an F80 M3. For the first part of the process, we need to remove this carbon strut brace. Let's start by removing these plastic push pins. So what you want to do is start over here. You pull up the center and then the rest of the clip will pop out. Once you've done that, take a 10 millimeter, turn these a quarter of the way counterclockwise, and then this piece of trim will just pull right out. Once you've done the other side, this one has an extra push pin down there. It has one over here, so remove those. Then take your 10 millimeter, loosen these three plastic nuts, lift this up, slide it out of the way. Now while you have your 10 millimeter out, there's one more 10 millimeter right here. And it looks just like that. Once you've done that, we have eight 13 millimeter bolts that we need to remove. So let's start in the back on the right corner here, work our way around. Now for these, what I like to do is I like to start with a ratchet. Just loosen them. Then I have this attachment on my drill. Just gonna put that on there to make this process a little bit quicker. Once you've done that, move this rubber out of the way, and then we'll set this in a safe location. Now for this installation, we're going to need to get behind the kidney grills, so you can either remove the entire bumper or just remove the kidney grills. Now, most of you at home are going to want to just remove the kidney grill, so we're gonna show you how to do that safely. So, Start by removing this weather stripping right here. Set that out of the way. And then we need to remove all of these screws up in the front here. So as you'll see, there are six T30s and then there's two T25s. So at this time, remove all of those bolts. Next, what we're going to do, is we're going to slide the bumper a little bit forward. Then we're going to reach behind it and we're going to release the clips on the kidney grills. Now BMW uses a polypropylene bumper which is extremely flexible and durable. So don't worry, by pulling it up, you're not gonna bend it out of shape or break it, it'll be just fine. Now I'm not going to be able to fit the camera behind the grills while I'm doing this, so I have a spare, so let's pull one of these down and I'll show you how to do it. For this next part, what we're going to do is we're going to gently pull up the cover and it's going to expose these clips. What you do is you press the clip down and then outward. So you wanna be applying outward pressure with one hand and then what you do is you press the tabs in and then it's going to gently come out. Okay. Once you've done that, your kidney grill will pop right out. All right, so gently lift this up and we're going to press on this tab over here and then we'll just very carefully work our way around. Now it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it only takes a couple minutes. Okay, last one over here. Then we can very carefully slide this out just like that. Then once you have one out, you can just reach through that hole to get the other ones. There we go. Now we're finally ready to remove this side of the intake. So to do so, we need to release our mass airflow sensor. So press on the tab and wiggle that off just like that. Then over here we have our vacuum line. The way that this works is there's some ridges over here. You just press on those and then this will pop off. Uh, with these, there's little hooks on this side and this side. So when you press the ridges, it spreads them out and makes it so you can slide it right off. Then if you haven't done so already, you can release the coolant line right here, just like that. Then with a six millimeter, you can release this hose clamp. I like to get it nice and loose. Then you lift up on the air box. Make sure that everything is out of the way. That'll come off and then just wiggle this out and set this to the side. Now what we need to do is we need to remove this air duct. So, this is going to be very difficult to see. But what we need to do is take a pick tool and press out 
on the side like this and then do the same on the other side and then that's going to release some clips so that you can very carefully pull this out of the way. Then once you're here, you lift this rubber up and there's a little mesh door that's going to come out. And just carefully pull the rest of this all the way through. All right, with all of that out of the way, we're going to need to get this tube through this piece of plastic. Now, if you do a test fit, I'll just show you really quick here. Let me put this in here. You will notice that it's a little bit, this opening is a little bit too small. Now, you might think, well, I could just bend it. Well, the problem is it's not rubber, it's plastic. So, I'll just show you here. It doesn't bend enough to where you could actually get it through without damaging the pipe. So we just need to do a little bit of trimming, nothing too crazy. So for this part, I like to get a chalk marker so it's easy to wipe off. And I just do a little arc. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very gradually trim that out with a knife. And then that's going to make sure that everything is going to fit well. And in case you're wondering, I like to use an Ulfa knife because it locks. And if it slips, I won't cut my hand off. Now with this kind of plastic, it's pretty easy to crack. So I, I have some lines of where I want everything to crack. So I'm just gonna twist that out. Then I'm just gonna go back in and do some cleanup. All right, like we were saying before, that's just chalk. It's not paint. So it'll come right off. All right, so now that we have a cut there, we're going to do another test fit. So we'll get this pipe. Gently feed it through. And it looks like that is all we need. So now just so you can see what we're doing, you have a small piece that looks like a J. You're going to feed the short end through and then twist it and it'll pop out the front. So we'll feed it through, twist it ever so slightly. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we are going to remove the mass airflow sensor from the stock intake. This is held in with a T20, two T20s to be exact. Okay, and we're gonna get the sensor, pull it straight out, just like that. Then what we can do is we can take the mass airflow sensor and install it into our new pipe. Now the cool thing about mass airflow sensors on BMWs is as you can see, I have it installed correctly, the holes line up, just to show you what happens if you have it the wrong way. When you press it in, you'll notice that the holes don't line up. So there's only one way to do it, which makes it nice and easy. Then what you can do is take the supplied bolts that are with the kit. These are machined. You never want to reuse the one from the OEM because that'll just strip it out. Take a little washer, put it on the bolt, and then thread these through here. And once you've done that, you can tighten them down. Now what we're gonna do, remove that piece that we installed a little while ago. We're going to slide this coupler on. We're gonna line up our clamp and tighten this down. Then once you've done that, we're gonna slide this back into place. And I'm going to pull it out the front again set it back just like that. Next, we're going to get our hose clamp, put it on that coupler, and then we're gonna take the other piece that we installed the mass airflow sensor in. We're gonna lift up our coolant line. And we're going to start by inserting the pipe into that silicone hose. 
Now with that in position, we can take a 13 millimeter and remove this end bolt right here. This is what's actually going to mount the intake so it doesn't go anywhere. Then what we can do is start to rotate this in position, move this coolant line, it's gonna sit in this little groove. And at this time, you can connect your vacuum line. Okay. And also your mass airflow sensor. Then take that bolt we removed earlier, carefully thread it into place. And then, this is when I like to go back and tighten the hose clamp down here. Then we'll do, so make sure that this hose clamp over here is nice and tight. It's good to go. And we can secure this bolt. Okay, good. Then I like to pull up on the inlet a little bit, make sure that the intake is pretty far in there. And we can tighten down the six millimeter. Then what we can do is kind of squish this down a little bit. There it goes. Make sure that you have a, a nice edge. Then put your hose clamp on, slide it on and tighten it up. All right, one done, let's do the other side. All right, on this side, begin by removing your mass airflow sensor. Slide that off. Then take a six millimeter, loosen this hose clamp. And once you've done that, you take this hose and you just very carefully push it, push it back and off and then you'll lift this part of the air box up. And here we can see on the bottom, these are just held in just like the other side with these rubber grommets right there. So sometimes they get a little bit stuck, but they'll always come out. Then we need to do what we did before, where I like to get my pick tool. You spread the one side, release the hook. Then you do the same on the other side. And that'll pull out just like that. So these are the hooks. I didn't really show it on the other side, but basically there's a piece of rubber that we're gonna pull out in a second, but these little hooks are there. So what I do is I grab my pick tool and I lift the rubber off this side, I tilt it, and then I lift the rubber off this side and it pulls right out. All right, same thing on this side. Move this piece of rubber over, and then you're gonna be able to pull this piece of plastic out. Then all you need to do is just bend the rubber in this is super soft, so it's, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, once you have everything loosened up, there's a little tab on the inside. There you go. Just pull that out. Then as you'd expect, remove your mass airflow sensor from this side, insert it in your new pipe, then use the supplied washers and bolts. All right, let's go install it. Now what we're going to do is take that piece and just gently rotate it until it pops into this plastic. It is a super tight fit, so just to give you a heads up on that. And then once you get it in, you wanna rotate it down. Then what we need to do is a little trimming again. So line it up. Again, I'm using a chalk marker, not a paint marker. All right, and then what we can do is take this piece here, just very carefully route it into place. Okay. Perfect. Then at this point, take the silicone coupler, just gently slide it on. 
and take your hose clamp, slide that on as well, and then you can tighten everything down. Then once you've done that, join the top pipe to the coupler and tighten everything down. All right, good. Then what we can do, put the mass airflow sensor back on and tighten up this top hose clamp. Good. Then as you'd suspect, we need to install our other filter here. Okay, so we'll just roll that in. Make sure you get a nice side. Sometimes they get a little wrinkled and whatnot um, in the box. So we'll put the nice side forward here. Pop this on. Then once you have it where you like it, you can tighten it down. And at this point in the process, the intakes are fully installed. Then we can just very carefully reinstall the kidney grills. At this part of the process, the front mount intakes are in and they look incredible. Can't wait to do some driving to test them out. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reinstall all of those bolts that hold the top of the bumper in. Then I'm going to reinstall the carbon strut brace for all of the torques on that. We're gonna list it down in the description and we'll be done. At this part of the process, everything is fully installed and reassembled. And as you can see, these intakes just make the car look that much more aggressive. If you're interested in front mount intakes for your BMW, be sure to check us out at keysmotorsports.com. If you haven't done so already, give us a like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.